Hello, Basil Calls, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where we uh, have to fix this uh, volcano setup because up here we have polluted oxygen, and this prevents the steam turbines from working and cooling this thing down. Now, the steam is below 200 degrees, but as we still have uh, hot iron sitting here it's still heating up so that's why i have the uh, bottle emptier uh, in here still but we can place a gas pump made out of steel and uh, pump this thing out and you can see the water uh, immediately evaporates uh, because it's just too warm in here. I also placed the uh, seal here uh, made out of uh, petroleum. So eventually we should see this, uh, this getting cleaned out. And when we have a vacuum in here, uh, the heat can no longer be transferred then we will break this, uh, this shine plate, replace it with a, with a conductive one and then um, we can close this, uh, this room up again. And we have quite a few kilograms of steam in here, so this will take a while um, but we can let that running on its own um, don't need anything from here think yep and let's have peek all the way to the space your shower and I have placed more lattice here for which we need to uh, mark them as uh, is a auto repair so they do not spend precious materials on repairing them when they get broken again soon. And they still can walk on broken ladders, weird as it sounds, but I guess that's one of the quirks of this game, because I would imagine if this would not be possible. You could end up in a situation uh, where your duplicates are basically trapped, um, cannot get the material to uh, repair, and um, are destined to die but then there are many other situations where the duplicates can maneuver themselves into a situation uh, just as dire uh, where they cannot get out um, but there the game does not really uh, have any quirks to prevent that. So maybe this is kind of an exception as meteor showers are not uh, are an external force uh, while uh, duplicates digging themselves a grave uh, or building themselves in that could be considered their uh, their own fault. to 
this side. Then we have ladders all the way across the top. Now here we are still pumping temperatures of the steam still below 200. I need to keep a close eye on that because um, this pump will take damage at 275 degrees. So currently we are sitting uh, 100 degrees below that threshold. So uh, that's good. And we'll still have uh, 100 kilograms of steam to get out of here. And this fills the pool down here. How's the rest of the base looking? Here I switched the tune up to uh, use LED exclusively because we have quite the amount of LED. Um, it's somewhere in here and it's not really useful for any building because it has a negative decor factor and a low uh, melting point. But creating mi microchips out of those that we can then use to tune up uh, our generators, um, that's insane. So, uh, nearly down to 100 degrees, uh, 100 kilograms, the temperature is pretty much stable at 170 plus. Well, the iron here is way warmer. down here we could also start switching out this wire over here with the iron that we have in here long as that they have not to uh, uh, touch the iron with their bare hands uh, so they get boils but that's okay and uh, that would be the case up to the point where they enter the base shop um. interesting thing is they take a thousand degree hot iron and then build a wire out of it 
that is 40 degrees. So building uh, some things out of material is a nice way um, to uh, get the uh, um, to get the, the material cooled down. Here apparently we have managed to break the seal as we do not have any liquid sitting here anymore. And that's not good. At least pressure in here is higher than out here, so the gases would not flow in here. Um, but when we pump out enough gas from here, that's no longer true. Okay. Completed all that, so let's do the wire up to this point. Steam is getting a bit warmer, but we are getting less of it so overall we are getting there but I think this will take still a while so uh, I will make a cut here and uh, we will continue with the second half once we have uh, emptied out this uh, room here uh, and can start with the fixing. We are almost down to a vacuum down here so now it's time to uh, break this one open so that we can replace it and I think we already can place in these ones and the auto sweeper here and as you can see I have used up all the uh, all the uh, iron down here uh, to do a bit of wiring which goes now all the way to over here so we have almost everything that we can replace down here from below are already replaced it's, it's only this piece of wire that's still the uh, old one so that's probably the next part that that will be Right, so now we have broken this open, we get us a bit of uh, hydrogen in there, which means that the the pressure has increased again. Because we need the water in here. 
and this time we should make sure that there is no um, there is no gas in here that would prevent the, uh, the steam turbines from working so let's up the priority on this and then they should get around to do it gas in here is still quite hot a bit is have have a switch on here So we can leave the, the pump in here, but just turn it off. Um, so hopefully we will not need it anymore. Uh, here we say we want refined mineral. Getting the, the gas pressure in here really, really low. So we are in the uh, milli, milli cubic grams. So should see that happening uh, soon. And we have a vacuum here again over here we already have one but usually it's best to uh, check in the, the farthest corners all the tiles water we need it fast and we probably need to uh, bottle it so let's disable it and we closed up above here so we can reconnect this one and get more uh, hydrogen in there and now we should only have hydrogen in there at the top. Previously we had a layer of carbon dioxide sitting here at the bottom. But now we can fill everything with hydrogen which should improve the, the cooling. Apparently, hmm, the walls have retained the heat, that's why we get a bit of, uh, of steam in here. As 
long as it is steam that's that's okay and we need a bit of water down here so that we have enough cooling traction uh, to get the temperature of the liquid metal liquid iron that comes out of the volcano uh, to cool down rapidly and then of course we will ship it out and drop it down in this pool which will heat up the pool but um, then we can pick it up again and put it on the wire and here I have a setup uh, that only lets metal through that's below 40 degrees so reasonable cool because the, the rail goes through here through the base and I don't want to, uh, uh, to uh, heat the base up with the iron that's sitting on there and apparently we are out of slime so we will just dig out a bit more okay we have uh, Prince Pufflets in here, three, um, they come from the chlorine gas up here, and they should produce uh, a bleach stone. I think uh, three Prince Pufflets is not really enough to produce enough bleach stone for a lattice farm. Hundred thirty three kilograms. I want more than two hundred kilograms sitting on the floor. Yeah, down here the old refineries they overheated so I recreated them in gold amalgam um, put in a radiant pipe here with um, a temp, temp shift plate uh, behind and this should help cool down because the, uh, the liquid that's going out uh, is uh, uh, 65 degrees and the uh, the machines they tend to get hotter so hopefully that solves that problem uh, and here we are almost uh, there going to 200 uh, maybe one or two more bottles up here we have uh, two kilograms of uh, hydrogen in each tile which is very nice I'd like to see that um, and we still have 19 cycles to finish this project down here before we will produce more iron out of this volcano. And let's see, we have a bit of plastic to spare, but I think we need quite a bit of plastic for our transit tubes um, that we eventually want to to create to get around faster in in our base uh, so 
if I zoom out here you can see that's that's quite large we are sitting here in the middle so we want to have a way to get to the top fast and probably also um, down uh, however we do not need to get down that often sometimes we need to go down here to release the, uh, the pressure of these pumps but currently there is so much oil sitting on here that's not a, a real priority for us so yep I think we are good here um, then we can build this wall up again and be done with uh, this fix up and there a duplicate comes and all done great so that means next time we can uh, find a new problem that we have to tackle um, so until then goodbye